early. Let's do it. And Naomi Ferguson says hello this morning. Hello. We've got Sinaru this morning saying good morning, Scott and Donna. Happy to see you guys live. Hello from the Philippines. What are you working on right now? I didn't read the title because I instantly clicked on it and chatted. <laughs> we are working on the last day of October. Yep. You guys wanted to see Scott paint her. So that is what we... Sitting. Come here. Sorry, my puppy. He's lovey. Um, uh, Ray Veneer says hi, and Kathy Campbell says hi, and Tanushri says hello. Peter Pan says hi, Scott. Hello. Elijah says hi, Scott and Donna. How are you this morning? Doing very good, thank you. Lila Rose says hi, Scott. Paulina says hello. Hello. MJ says hey, guys. We have a back news from Rose. Uh, Mondira says, sorry, I'm late. We just started. You are not late. I just started. Aslan says, hey. Ship Sip says, hi. Dizzy says, hi. Brandy B says, good morning. Hello, Brandy B. And then four Bs says, hello. It's literally B, 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 B. Ellery Jane says, um, hey. Come here. Okay. Um, Sinaru says, kind of sad to see the, uh, um, sad to end the Octavia series. Yeah. Um, Virjot says, good evening from India. Good evening. It's just a human girl says, hello, everyone. Um, Board Cat says, hello. hello. Hey, Braxton Cole says, good morning, guys. Hello. Catherine McKay says, good morning and friendly here on time. Naomi says, hello from Australia. It's 10.01 p.m. Hi, Scott and Donna. Love your drawings. Hello from the U.S. It's hi for the hopeful. Hello, hello, hello. Lena says, hi, Scott. Thank you for being such an inspiration to me. Um, let's see how exciting and sad. This is the last one. Hello from Africa. That's Megan. Wow, hello. hello. from Nepal. Hey, Nervix here. Hi, I'm from India. That's Gowrie. Hello. Hi, have a nice stream. Thank you. Jimmy says, Saul Goodman has arrived. <laughs> Madison and friends says, hey, Scott, long time no see. Hello, how are you doing? Cool Angel says, morning. Good morning. Let's see. Lowie says, this time, Mr. Scott, I wanted to ask if you ever have time for an anime drawing. Yes, I've done quite a few. What is Octavia doing today? Uh, this is her essentially, enjoy, essentially enjoying all of the previous seven days. Yeah, all at all once. In today, Scott's painting the one that he drew on Monday. Yeah. You guys all wanted to see. I penciled it. and inked this mm -hmm. on Monday. Monday. Mm -hmm. And I was going to finish it Monday, but uh, off off camera, and you all wanted to see it. So here we are. Um, Sugar-coated. We are in the central time zone. Um, your painting is looking so good. Hi from Brazil. That's Lemony Snicket. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I forgot to. What? Did you hit record? No, no, I forgot to pin it down. Oh. So it's starting to buckle a little bit. Oh, because of the watercolor. I forgot you had to peel it to scan it. Um, let's see. Hi from the Philippines. Sinner says, currently chilling in bed, eating kimchi while watching this stream. Very cozy. Oh, sounds, that sounds like fun. Like a cozy morning. Hope Octavia had a great October. That's John. I think she did. <laughs> I think she had the best October. Okay. Hello, Scott. Love you. That's Dustin the Dean. Oh, Thank you, Dustin Steph the Nerd. Dean. Hey, Steph Nerd. What time is it where you are? Greetings from Ireland. Oh, you're making me want to travel. It's uh, 9.04 a.m. We're in the central time zone. Um, hope you're doing good. Hello from Bangladesh. Hi, the painting looks awesome. Thank you. Hi, I love your art. That's Yaduli. Hi from London. That's Rhea. Um, good morning again from Indiana. Wishing you both well. That's Kellen. Um, Thank you. Place says, oh my God, a whole lot of D's. I love your art. Oh, thank you. Um, it's November, says NR Queen. Um, 
uh, it is, but you guys wanted to see Scott paint Octavia t um, today. So that was everybody's request. Just can't paint Octavia today. So um, your art is crazy. Thank you. Let's see. Felix, hi from the United Kingdom. Your shorts always make my day when they come up in my feed. Hope your Halloween was wonderful. Oh, thank you very much. It was. We had no trick or treaters, though. It was sad. That makes we, it a great Halloween. It was a good Halloween, but it was just, I want more trick or treaters. I think maybe it was a Monday and it was it was raining where we are. So, hey, we have an Ellen. Hey, uh, Ellen. Brimstone says, Good morning, Scott and Donna, with a little, a little maple leaf. Mm -hmm. so good says, morning. It's already November, so technically it's. Novavia. Novavia. Sorry, my pond is so bad. Hey, we have a Jamie Brown. Hey, Jamie. Says, Good morning, SBC friends. Listening while starting some pressure washing at work. Oh, boy. Always moving and shaking, Jamie. All of the drawings combined was a great idea. That's Amara. Oh, thank you. Jelly Alex is high from France. I was waiting for the live. <laughs> Um, Og says morning. Alina says hi. Black Templar says hello. I think I got all of the pink that needed to be pink. <laughs> so let me blow dry. Blow dryer. You're way too kind. Yeah, Thank you. Say, I, <laughs> that, that's probably the nicest compliment we've ever gotten. We were people no one noticed. Yeah. Um, how do you draw hair so amazing? That's Lizzie's. Oh, uh, um, I think a lot of that is just obviously practice, but I, I studied a lot of the whole Art Nouveau stuff that uh, Alphonse Mucha was doing, and I really liked it. And so I took a lot of that to heart. That's a nice drawing, Scott, and it's crazy good. Thank you. I'm still very unsure about drawing out of my head, though. Marcelina says, hi from the Netherlands. I love your videos, and I'm so happy I got to be on the live stream today. I had a really bad day, and this made it a little better. Oh, well, thank you. We're and I hope your day gets a little better. Yeah, we're happy you can come and hang out with us and just take a breath from the day. Yeah, hang out with us anytime. Yeah. Lowey says, hello from Germany. Thank you for all of the tips. Thank you. She looks so happy with the jumper she knitted. That's a sweater. They call that. A oh. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for giving me inspiration. That's Keisha. My pleasure, Keisha. Look at this. Somebody just needs to sit with mom today. Um, let's see. I love your art. That's Sharon. Joy says hi. Hello. Americano Ice says hi. I'm from Pakistan. You have inspired me to start watercolor again. Oh, that's wonderful. Hi from Colorado. Hello, Colorado. Every word says good morning from Canada. My husband, Jason, is an artist who was so inspired by you, and it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Jason. Oh, Jason, we said happy birthday. Yeah, that's exciting. We love a good cake. I never met cake I didn't like, except German chocolate cake and carrot cake. I, I guess I did meet a cake I didn't like. Carrot cake seems wrong, but people like carrot cake. I don't know why. Um, hello from New Jersey. You're such an inspiration to me. Hello. Sweetheart, I need that hand to run the mouse. You guys, if you could see my dog sitting in my lap. Good morning from Can Oh, I read that one. Come on, Ken. I can see. All right, blow dryer. Hello from Indonesia. Hello, hello Indonesia.
one more pass. HP for Lifers is asking when the giveaway announcement is. I would like to post uh, the winners um, later today. We are working on it. We had a total of 16,472 of you. Wow. <laughs> Enter the drawing. So this morning we are sorting out. Um, we did have some people who entered twice. Um, so we're sorting out, deleting the duplicates. And we are going through and we are going to um, randomly generate our numbers and do all that kind of good stuff and pull the winners today. That's my, my uh, goal today. Um, I am being helped by the wonderful and illustrious Bethany Primrose, and we will have that done for you today. Um, let's see. You're the best. Nada says, hi, I'm from Thank Jordan. You. Hi. Hi, I'm from Canada. Happy um, Halloween. Hello. Late, late Halloween. Late Halloween. Um, good morning. Good morning. Have you ever used sketch pens? Um, I don't know if I know the brand. No. Um, yeah, I don't know what a sketch pen is. Hi from South Africa. I love your perspective on art and the process. Thank you. Um, that's Dustin and Daniels. Sketch Art says, hi, Scott, huge fan. I love your paintings. Thank you. Axel says, hello, from London. Hello. Lucy says, hi, I'm from South Africa. Hello, Lucy, from South Africa. Drex Few says, hi, from Salt Lake City, and I love your art. Red Hot Phoenix Gamer says, good morning, everyone. Be Scared says, today I finished some art homework that needed watercolors, and I drew a simple face, non-realistic, and tried to color it by layering watercolors, and it worked. Oh, that's I'm great. i using them more. That's awesome. Fantastic. You have numerous people who are sad that this is the last October. Oh, probably, probably not the last ever. Right, but it is yeah, for now. Just for now. Blow dryer. It's a large, large area. Okay. Uh, Danian says, you really inspired me to get back into drawing and painting. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Um, El Husseini says, you inspired me to pursue my dream. That's wonderful. Thank you. Um, Lugan says, good morning, sir. Adrian says, very big fan. Thank you. Um, Christine says, I love your art. You teach me and inspire me to do more art. Thank you. Have a great day from the Philippines. Thank you. Um, Nurbik says, since it's November, the title should be Noctober. Noctober. Um, let's see. We've got people in here from Bangladesh. We've got people in here from Germany saying hi. Hello. Um, hey, one more. One Blow dryer. Good morning. Okay. Um, 
This is an applicable question. Catherine Vandenberg wants to know, how do you get the blow dryer to not affect the artwork? Um, if it's what it, you just, you learn to know when it's too wet. Sometimes if it's just so wet, you got to just dab it with a little bit of paper towel or something like that. But that'll of course lift up some of the pigment too. So I try to keep it wet, but not too wet. Okay. Ellen's got a question. Um, she says, question for Scott. Do you get busier during the holidays, commissions, gifts, otherwise? Does it stress you out how you handle it? Um, no, not really. I, I try to stay away from commissions too much. And um, no, I don't really see much of a, the, the thing that stresses me out the most is when we're going to leave, like when we went to Venice yeah. and I've got to make extra videos mm -hmm. for when we're gone. I think the difference too, Ellen, is that he's got such a catalog of stuff that's already on the website that if we pull down commissions, we still have things to sell. I don't know if that makes any sense. I know you're constantly um, redoing your inventory as you sell out, but after so many years of, I apologize for saying this, not selling art, yeah, we've got a backlog of things that we that we're selling. So, um, and only take as many commissions as you think you can handle, like reasonably, between everything. We, as like you know, we've shut down commissions right now because Scott's got those outside projects. So if there's, you don't want to take on too much so that you're so stressed out. And then again, I also do all the shipping for him, so you're doing everything. So you really are going to have to pace yourself because you don't have somebody doing that for you. I don't know if that makes any sense. If it doesn't make sense, message me. Um. Okay. Hello, Scott. I just wanted some tips on drawing trees. That's invisible person. No, oh, trees are not easy. Um, <clears throat> you got to find the shapes. That's the biggest thing. And then you start to go in with the details later. I think we did a little thing on the live last week, right? So. Yeah. We were kind of yeah. talking about that where you just got to find the, the big mm -hmm. shape. And then, you know, these are the two shapes and then you start to add the branches and everything else. But mm -hmm. stuff like leaves are, the bane of my existence, especially when I do stuff like this. Blow dryer. That one spot is going to remain like he really is. Richard McKay, he's on Instagram. You guys can follow him on Instagram. Um, he is, he's doing a lovely series on trees. He did spooky trees for Halloween and he's doing beautiful autumn trees. All right, let us get. Um, Scott doesn't speak any languages other than English and sometimes he doesn't even do that very well. <clears throat> Pony Baloney says, but it's the 2nd of November. Yeah, it is. And I also started this in September too. Any other tips on negative space? Oh, no. I think that was everything I know. <laughs> that one minute video is all I know about negative space. Can Mr. Scott please give some tips on blending, please? That's why. Uh, oh, blending is based on the, uh, um, the medium that you're using. If you're blending with oils, is different than blending with pencils. is different than blending with watercolors. So what medium? Yeah, which medium? Nova Z, I've been sick for the past little bit and watching your videos always cheers me up. Oh, I hope you're feeling better now. Maria wants to know if you ever paint food. Yeah, yeah, I have, um, mm -hmm. here, hold on. Usually it's in his travel journal. Which is the best watercolor brand for students? Um, I like the, the Cotman, the Winter Newton Cotman brand. Ooh, Izzy's got a driving test today. Good luck. Let's see, do I have any? Scott does not play musical instruments. Um, he is using a tripod as the iPhone stands. Here, the video there's a pizza. Um, and then, you know, 
throughout my stuff, you'll see, I'll sketch whatever's in front of me. Salt and pepper shakers. Yeah. Forks, napkins. Who's ever sitting across the table? Which sketchbook is the best for watercolor? My favorite is uh, the Be Creative sketchbook. Uh, which I don't know if they still make them anymore. I think they might have gone out of business. Um, but those are around $13. This is That's what I use for my my travel journal. But the next in line would be, uh, for, for price-wise, I would definitely say the, uh, the Canson XL. Um, do you play games? If you do, what's your favorite game? Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Uh, currently playing... Um, Overwatch 2 with my son. Um, do you have any tips for watercolor? I have an art scholarship coming up and I'm scared. Yeah, work lights to dark. Do your lightest colors and then build them up. So you saw I did the really light pink, went over with a little more pink and then purple and a little more purple. I kept building it up. Okay, guys, I'm going to refer you um, who's asking for um, proportions and stuff and faces. Check out the Art Hacks playlist. There are tons of videos in there that will give you a great place to start for those. Do you ever want to try acrylics again? Vinith is bringing chaos. I'm sorry, one more, one more Do time. Do you ever want to try acrylics again? Um, no, but I have a couple of acrylic sets that people have sent me, companies have sent me, so I might just try them again at some point. During one of these lives, I'll find something to paint and we'll give it another try. I actually got an email from somebody the other day that wanted to know if you were going to be using their stuff anytime soon because I told them November would be the earliest. So okay. I will check that and you can um, do that. Overwatch 2 is the bomb. Who do you play as, Scott? Well, I really love Arisa, but it's really hard if you don't get heals. Um, so I usually will go back to my main, which is Reinhardt, but I do love the, the new Arisa. Starboy Gaming says, Scott, it's time to clean your workspace. Yeah, it is. What's your favorite TV show? Uh, the Law and Order, the original Law and Order is something I, I'm still watching every day. Uh, but The West Wing, Avatar The Last Airbender, Justified. Um, uh, for animation, it would be uh, Speed Racer. Okay, guys. So for brushes and any art supplies, if you go to... Scott's art supply list, you will find everything that he uses there. And the caveat I'm going to put out there is you may not be able to find that in your country. Um, what is your favorite car? Uh, the 1967 Mercury Cougar, this one. Koi fish are a good subject for acrylics. How do I make reflections in water with watercolor? Reflections. In That's water. yeah. Um, hold on a second. Let me just get this down. Yeah. And Angelica, check out Scott's art supply list. That'll tell you which brushes they are that he's using. Scott's favorite color is paint gray. Okay, so water. There's a lot of water in Venice. Um, so that's how I do the little reflections. So, you know, there's the door. It's going to be reflected here. There's the, the white part here is a little there. So I'll usually just do the base color of like a greenish and then I'll do the shadows and then I'll add that color. So this is red. I'll add that reds and the browns and whatnot into the water later on. So you see that it was green and then I came in with the purples to show the shadow of the building. And then there's the arch right there. Trying to see if there's another one. That one's really good at a depth. Yeah, see there. So there's the, um, the blue from there, the red from there. Um, there's the purple that represents the shadow there. So you got a little bit of red in there. Basically, it's the same way you would do it with any other medium. It's just do your base color first and then add on top of that. Okay, you guys are chatty today. Um, I have no idea how to quantify how much money comes on art supplies a month. It's not a lot. But oh, I don't spend a lot of, per month. Yeah. Um, I, I already got a backlog. Yeah, I've got all of the art supplies I need. So I'll just from time to time pick up one onesie twosie little stuff. How did 
did you make the texture of the sweater? Oh, that was um, just a, a micron. You can you can watch it in the uh, in the live from la from Monday, and also from the the previous week too. I did it. Do you think you were naturally good at art, or is it a skill you really need to push through? Um, I I don't think I had any more natural ability than any of the other kids in my school when when we were all drawing. In fact, they were better at art than I was, but. Um, it's just, uh, I had a passion for it. Passion is what makes you better. Passion makes you practice. Um, it's rare to find a content creator in 2022 who doesn't shout out all the time. I love your attitude. Love from Israel. Oh, well, shout out to my friend in Israel. I'm such a big fan. I love you so much. You inspire me even though I'm very bad at painting. Oh, thank you. I'm bad at painting too. Let's be bad together. Um, What's your favorite genre of music? Um, I guess it would be just rock, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s. Are you going to use watercolor for the leaves? Oh, yeah, I'm going to use watercolor for pretty much everything. What's the next country you want to visit? I think either Scotland or Ireland is what we're looking at. Have you ever done a collaboration with another YouTuber? Not yet. I've got a few that we talked to, Rishi Draws and Black Bean. Um, we talked about doing collaborations, but I'm just waiting to hear back from them. Are you going to use watercolor for the leaves? You asked that. I did. Yes, Sorry. and I answered. Um, can you make a part, part two? Oh, can you make a part two about watercolors and watercolor papers? If I come up with anything more to say, I mean, usually the reason why I do these one minute things is I'm not that full of information. <laughs> so I, 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 I'm not a teacher. I'm just like yesterday's video about the, the depth of field. It was like well, that. This is what I do. But it's really just a minute's worth of stuff. I am not that full of information. Blow dryer. <laughs> No, the giveaways have not been announced. We are still going through all of the, there were 16,472 of you. So we're still going through all of that. We got to do the random numbers and pull everything out. So we will do that later this afternoon. Um, if you do a collab with Rishi Draws, that would be two of my favorite YouTube artists. Oh. This piece is looking amazing. By the way, what are the plans for November series, if any? Uh, I don't have any plans currently, no. Mm, okay, tell everybody what you're using right now. You grab what? Uh, this is, um, India ink. Okay, and why did you grab India ink? Because you know I, I want to make the background teal. And so what I do is I take some India ink and then I mix it with some white. And it gives me a nice light teal for the background. KT Animations, he has spilled paint on doggone near everything. Yep. There's paint on the floor, there's paint on the desk. Um, oh, the comments are just, you guys are. This is at a 60 second delay. I know, I'm telling you, Scott, I can't keep up. There's like so many of them. Um, just Go Outside is here, two of my favorite people. Good morning, Scott and Donna. Hello. Just Go Outside. See that nice color that it made? Wow. And then I can go in here and I can. Okay. Let me blow through some of these really quick because I can answer these while he's painting with the teal color. Okay. Um, we haven't tried the Posca markers yet. Um, we still need to do that. But we do have a, we have a stack of um, stuff he still has to, to do. Um, Honey, can you change that song? Yes, I can change this song. All right, um, Scott's favorite color is Payne's gray. He has done tons of different paintings of sports people. Right now, we don't have any plans to come to India. Um, and I can't even tell you, we have a, a list of so many countries we do want to visit. Um, Scott did oil painting way, way back in college. High school. Sorry, high school. Um, 
will you do digital art again? Yes. Yeah. I, I've been kind of trying to find my voice with it. So I will come up with another video probably within the next week or so. So any art supplies from your childhood? Um, art supplies? No. I have paint, you know, Ill, drawings that I did, but not art supplies. Okay, Laura Hashem, I don't know what your question is exactly. What is the difference between a paintbrush and a watercolor brush? And can I use a paintbrush for watercolor? Um, you can. I mean, a paint paint brushes are watercolor brushes are paint brushes, um, but the the thing is, is that you you watercolor wants to be very very soft. And so the, the paint brushes are very soft. Whereas I think um, oil paint brushes might be a little more bristly, but you can use, you can use them for anything, honestly. Um, Dalton loves animal crackers and want, have we thought of another movie or a sequel? Thank you. Yes, we have. We're hoping we can put one together soon. We are still trying to get some stuff together and we are hopefully very, very close. I keep saying that, I've been saying that for months, um, but that's how things work. Um, Lego light bulb learned how to use gouache and watercolor by watching your videos. Thank you for being here, you are amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, where did you find your art style? Uh, there's a video on that. Um, it's my art is a mosaic, but basically there's just different artists that I took ideas from and that's how my style came around. Hey, it's me. Thank you very much for your sweet, um, your sweet comment. I appreciate you. Um, tips for beginners to never feel unmotivated when they're drawing. Um, for me, the, the, the best way is to draw what you see. So uh, that, that's how I do it. I, you know, I find things that inspire me. I, I'm not sitting there going, what should I draw out of my head? Uh, and of course, I'm drawing something out of my head right now, but that was, uh, that's a fluke. Okay, Hazel's got a very important question. Okay. Would you rather have a lifetime supply of Skittles but never be able to eat M&M's again or have a lifetime supply of M&M's but never be able to eat Skittles? Oh, that's easy. M&M's. M&M's, hands down. Um, I was never into watching art until I saw yours. I don't do art myself other than music, but your art always makes me smile. Mm. Music is art, and thank you. Do you have any realistic drawings that you've done with just graphite? Yeah, yeah. I think I've shown them from time to time. Uh, I did them in high school and college. <clears throat> What's your favorite genre of music? I think we said rock and roll. Thoughts on mechanical pencils? I like them. I don't use them, but I do like them. I like the concept of them, but um, I've tried using them from time to time, and they just didn't click for me. Can you be an artist without having expensive art supplies? Oh yeah, yeah. I I've I think I've done enough art with Crayola and other things to show you that. What is the music playing in the background? It's just <laughs> generic, unlicensed jazz, which not really my favorite thing, but it's the only thing that we can play that doesn't um, trigger copyright laws. Um, Fire Madness says I like your bracelets. Thank you very much. Hi, Scott. I'm a 13 year old um, artist, and you're such an inspirational artist. Thank you very, very much. It's very nice to meet you. Scott has tried alcohol markers. There's a video on that in the products we've reviewed. Leah says, Going through a hard breakup, and your videos have brought a lot of comfort. Thank you. Oh, I'm so sorry about that's, the breakup. That's hard. We're sorry about that. Um, do you like Queen? Oh, absolutely. We worked with Queen on my movie. We got the song, Don't Stop Me Now. Splitbolt says, hey, I think you should go to Ireland next. Maybe County Kerry. They have so many old castles, and I think it would be fun to draw a nice place. It's Castle Gregory. It's in a small town. Just an opinion. Love that. Um, why don't you make a comic book about Octavia with watercolors? That would be fun. Um, invisible Person. For both of you, would you rather go a year with only chocolate as a snack or chips? 
chocolate. I'm gonna have to go with chips because too much sugar lately is not good for me. Um, Shipra says, you really give me confidence to do more. Thanks a lot. Oh, I love to hear that. Um, this is Octavia. She's a part of the October series. Um, zebra brush pens, Heidi, are the pens that Scott uses. Spring Trap wants to know if you could please draw your favorite comic panel. Wow. Um, yeah. Yeah, I could look into that. I have so many. Um, Victor says, thank you for teaching me how to improve my art. Oh, my pleasure. Um, Rayusa says, how many can you be an artist when you're super broke? Oh, it doesn't cost money. You need paper and pencil. That's it. I, I did a video where, you know, we went to the store and I spent $8. And from there, you can do whatever you want to. Um, somebody asked, and this was a while ago because all the comments had flooded, and I want you to mention it again, is how can you be comfortable when you're out somewhere uh, and you're sketching, like just out in the wild? Yeah, there's a video on that. Um, but I use headphones, noise-canceling headphones, and... Um, I take a photograph and if I'm not comfortable, I go back to the Hobbit hole or hotel room if I'm traveling and I sketch there. It doesn't matter. There's no more value to your art if you sketch it live, you know, the whole thing there, or if you take a picture and go back and sketch it someplace else. You know, travel journal is still a travel journal. You were there. And here's your drawing of it. Mm -hmm. Iris says, have you heard of the Urban Sketchers group? It's made of artists who go new places every week to paint so far. I've gone to quite a few. I have. I have not been to one. Um, but yes, I have heard of them. I even picked up a couple books from some of them. Um, who's your favorite artist? I have too many. Um, Drew Struzan, uh, John Buscema, Alphonse Mucha, J.C. Leyendecker. Um, what do you think about your own art style? I don't think I have a style. I think I'm just kind of just fudging my way through it, but um, I'm getting more comfortable with it. I think the more you do it, like when I started really just making art every single day, um, it really definitely made a, a difference. We have not bought the Posca pens yet to use in a video, but like I said, we've been um sent a whole bunch of things that scott still needs to we have do. acrylic pens mm -hmm. acrylic markers that i need to try anyhow so it's better that i try with those first before i go spend money on posca pens um you have painted a bunch of disney characters over the years yeah will you do another drawing of every lord of the rings character but with monty python characters <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one i don't know have you tried making a flip book yeah when i was a kid why do you not like acrylic paint? I just don't like the way that they uh, go on. I mean, they, they, they're they very thick. It's like painting with mud. And no matter how much water I put in them, it just... Goofy. Yeah. Um, do you have any tips for caricatures for Nancy? Um, I did a couple of videos on that, and what I did was I took a photo and I distorted it in Photoshop. So look that up and see if you can see if that helps you. Have you ever painted cars? Second question is, are you a car guy? You have amazing cars. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've painted them. I painted lots of cars. Not really a fan of it, but yeah, I've done it. Rosalie says, I've been having a very bad day mentally, especially with my art, but when I saw this stream, I instantly got excited. Thank you. Oh, thanks. I hope your day gets a little better, and I hope you start enjoying your art. Scott's favorite watercolor company. Windsor & Newton. Scott's favorite color is Payne's Gray. <coughs> this is very time-consuming, isn't it? It is, but... We have nothing but time today. Yeah. I was wondering how you were going to fill up this whole time painting, but since now you have to go through all the leaves, I guess that answers my question. Yeah. Um, is that what you're painting with now? Is it gouache or watercolor? Neither. It is India ink mixed with uh, white acrylic um, ink. 
So it's very opaque. Um, my favorite color is cobalt blue. Is he? I've recently started to share my art in social media. Any advice? How do you start commissions and not fall into the social media trap and algorithm trap? Oh, um, my a loaded question. Yeah, my advice would definitely be: um, first of all, don't just just ignore trolls because yep. there's there's always trolls. Uh, you get yeah, you get to decide who you listen to and who gets to interact with you. So keep that in mind. Uh, the second thing is, is that I wouldn't worry about commissions until you've built an audience. You know, get get 10, 20, 30, 50,000 followers first before you start worrying about commissions. Um, because you got to, you got to, you know, I mean, look, if someone asks you, definitely take the job, but just keep that in mind. Um, it, it's, it's, I, I honestly don't know how artists live on commissions because that is a very, very, you're constantly selling yourself. You're constantly doing that. That's a lot. Well, you haven't been asked for commissions. That's never been my thing, yeah. No, no. Not more than since we've been doing this on social media. Um, let's see. Do you make art for your family members? Yeah. <laughs> I, paint, oh, I, I, I paint pretty much most of my stuff for free. And, um, which, you know, I, so if somebody has a new family member, they get married or they lose their dog or something like that. I'm painting something okay. for them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how long have you been drawing and how old were you when you learned to draw? Um, I'm still learning to draw, but, um, I've been drawing since I was six or seven. Box TV is back at it again. Oh, thank you. Box thank TV. You. What? Oh, here's a good question. What is your response to hate? I just ignore it. He blocks it's hard to. I mean, it, 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 by the way, it, it doesn't, it's not like I have a magical ability to just go, yeah, you don't exist anymore. But you do have to kind of train yourself to just go, yeah, I, I don't need to, I don't need to interact with that person. Um, anybody who says something negative to somebody else online they have something wrong with them, you know? So you, you, that's not your, they're not your responsibility. You can't fix that person. No one ever has ever convinced somebody else of something online. So you just ignore it and move on. Block them. Favorite gouache brand? Uh, Windsor and Newton, unless it's acrylic gouache and then it's Holbein. Does which pencil you use have an effect on your drawing, cheap or expensive? Um, I don't think cheap or expensive, no. But there is a, a video I did on the different types of pencils that, you know, like H and B and everything in between. So that definitely affects your drawings, but not whether it's cheap or expensive. Um, okay. This person asks, could you ever make a challenge video like water art hydro dipping, please? I, I'd have to look it up. I don't even know what that is. Have you ever thought of drawing landmarks from all over the world? Another person wants you to draw monuments from all over the world. Yes, but only if I visit them. Yeah. How are you brave when you draw outside the hot pool? There's a video on that, and, and I'm, I'm not brave. I just drown out the world around me, and that definitely helps. His headphones are amazing. I have firsthand experience with those. Um, what is the car in your video? That is a 1967 Mercury Cougar XR7, just like the one in my garage. Um, Netcase Art says, my husband and I have really enjoyed seeing your videos on the shorts area every night as we get ready for sleep. Oh. Do you know, I don't know, cute, thank you. Do you know the next 30 day slash whatever day project you'll do, like studying the masters? Not yet, no. And and sometimes I'm in the mood for a for a challenge, mm -hmm. and sometimes I'm not. Like you know, even the eight days of October were fun, but not every day do you want to get up and do the same thing. And so a lot of it is 
his mood. Just the mood and predicting that, you know what, uh, you know, I, I, I don't know if I'm going to want to do this 30 times. So um, stuff like the hair journal wasn't planned. It, you know, someone had sent me, Etra Labs had sent me their, their sketchbook. I sketched something in it and then I liked it. And so I sketched something else and, and then that just be kind of became its thing. Whereas the, the you know, 30 days of national animals was planned. And um, it, it gets, it was fun, but it gets, it gets a little, oh, I still got, I'm only halfway through this. I'll never finish it, you know, kind of thing. And I just sometimes don't want to put myself through it. I think especially with holidays coming up and everything and family coming out and yeah, it's, it's harder when our kids are home and our family's here. All right, let me blow through a couple of these. Um, okay, we're not going to tell you the absolute, like, this is the best art brand. We don't do that because some people in different countries can't get art supplies. So Scott's art supply list is what he uses. You can check those colors and see if you have that in your country. And maybe if you don't have Winter and Newton, you can use those. Um, to pick some colors that are similar. Um, also, zebra brush pens, those are in the art supply list. If you are in school, multiple people have asked, I'm in school and I'm really, really busy. I'm paraphrasing at this point. How can I still do art if I'm in school and I'm really, really busy? Well, when I, I, when I was in school and I was really, really busy, um, first of all, I was able to take, when I got into high school, an art class, and that definitely helped. Um, but also I was given a sketchbook and I would sketch in it. Um, if I, if I can go back in time, I would not just sketch my original character in it over and over and over again, which was just silly. Um, I would keep a journal of what goes on each day or, you know, it doesn't have to be every day, but I would sketch the things around me. You're going to become a much better artist by sketching everything you see. And so I would just fill that up. And then on, on top of that, it's really cool to look back on your younger years and see what you were doing. This was the food I was eating. These are the places I went. These were my friends. And you can see how much you've improved year after year. But let's, let's do a little expand on that. If they're busy with school, they can take, they don't have to sit there for hours on end and do a painting. They can do a quick sketch in between classes. So a sketchbook, or yeah. they can do it on their lunch break. Or they yeah. can do it in the morning while they're waiting for class. Yeah, you're and not... Those you're are the not, kinds of things that they're, they're asking. You're not for. trying to, to do... Your work isn't going to go in a gallery or anything like that. Just focus on drawing. Mm -hmm. Drawing is all you got to worry about. And five minutes is better than nothing. Yep, right? paper and pencil. There you go. Um, okay. How many years did it take you to become a professional artist? Um, I got my first job uh, in 1994, I think, doing my first magazine cover. I thought that was before we were married. Replay Magazine. It was I my first we... paying job. Was for... that before we were married? No, I was at Atari. Wow. Okay. So, um, I mean, it might have been, yeah, because I mean, it was, we were engaged, I think, at the point. But um, yeah, so I, I got my first job then. But honestly, I, I've maybe done 20 or 30 covers in my 40 year, you know, or, or 35, 35 year history. It's not a lot. I, it's not a lot to, to, to call me a professional. So, I don't know if I am a professional artist. I, I, I don't I don't know if that title exists for someone like me because I don't make a living, you know, making art and selling it to clients and whatnot. So I, I, I honestly don't know. Blow dryer. Hi Battle Brooks. Here's the thing I hate. So all of this, see all of that yeah. is now going to go for, it's just, I can't use it. I'm done. 
So all of that ink goes to waste, and I hate that. Can't you reactivate ink? Nope. Ink, once it dries, this is ink right here. Once it dries, it's dry. Oh. So the difference between ink and watercolors, you can reactivate watercolors. But you can't reactivate But inks, ink. like the good thing is like if, if I paint over the inks, it's not going to lift up that, that teal, which is why I like it. Oh. Which is also why these are... Make sure these are concentrated are watercolors and so because they're more concentrated than regular watercolors if a little bit of water touches it boom it starts to spread everywhere and so I, that's why i'm going to do the the sweater last because Wait, any i'm confused you were just talking about inks and now you're holding up Yes. Concentrated watercolors. Inks dry. I don't have to worry about them. Oh, okay. Concentrated watercolors, I do. So I'm so first watercolors is middle, and then I'm going to use the concentrated last. I, I just didn't know. I'm assuming if I didn't know when I'm sitting here, other people wouldn't know either. So what makes you use? So this is technically a mixed media piece because you're using inks, you're using watercolors. Yeah, all of them are mixed media. I didn't know that inks don't lift up. No, inks dry. Dry and then they're done. Yep. So technically you have to clean off that palette and then be done with it because you can never use it again. Yeah. It won't react. I didn't know that either. Okay. Um, let me blow through a few of these questions. Um, just go outside says, I've met a photographer that is helping me with my style, also helping me get some funding to grow my group. Yay! Oh, that's great. Way to go. Um, we are dog people, not cat people, but the only reason we're not cat people is, well, that's not fond of cats, but I'm allergic, so. I don't hate cats. They're just jerks to me. Um, we are announcing the winners later today. There were over 16,000 of you that entered. So that's exciting. Um, I love your videos. Thank you. Cats are amazing. Um, so I like to put all my leftover acrylic paint in a container and mix it together to make a mystery color. Maybe you could do that with your inks. So That's cute. Yeah. That's funny. What is your favorite quote? Oh, um, I have a whole list of quotes. I don't even remember. Yeah. Jamie Brown has laughing emojis and says, Scott, clean off a palette with laughing emojis. Thanks a lot, Jamie. <laughs> oh, what's a good tip for beginning drawers? Uh, draw everything you see. Draw everything every day. Blow dryer. Two cats and a dog, and they love painting them. Sorry, it wasn't dry. Blow dryer. Uh, okay, we were trying for the drawing. Everybody, listen. We were trying to have it ready for this morning so we could announce them, but there were 16,000 of you, so we have to go through and do all of the things. And we will announce them on a video. No, no, no. I, I never said a video. You did. I said I will post it on the... Oh, post it. Okay. Yeah, so there's there's the uh, the community tab. I will post it there. Okay. All right. So you heard it from Scott. He will post it in the community tab later today. Have you done portraits of people? Oh, yeah. Like daily. Have you drawn something horror-themed or scary? Uh, I did a couple of the, the uh, Inktober stuff during October, I think it was. Uh, the first first uh, 10 days of October? Yes. Blow dryer. I love all the questions, but I'm, and I'm sorry if I can't get to them. You guys are just uh, very, very chatty today. Um, do you like to decorate the cover of your sketchbooks, like with stickers, paint, etc.? Um, I have this cover that I made that I put over my sketchbook. 
And and then I also did use one of my stickers on this one. But you don't do that regularly. No. Um, your videos inspired me when I was down. I felt like my art was bad. I was bad at drawing, but you inspired me to keep making art and keep going. That's the oh, epic noob. Thank you, epic noob. Um, pot are, I think it's potato, but they wanted to have art in the middle of it. Potato. I want to start an art YouTube channel, but I don't like to record myself because I'm shy. What should I do to overcome that? Have you had a similar experience? Yes, and there's a video on that. <laughs> um, it's it's just. Mods, I don't know if you can find it, but uh, it, it took me two years to figure it out, and I'm very shy. He really is. That's why he wears um, headphones when we're out. Sometimes he even wears them in the car. I tend to be loud. Um, did you do any new sketches for Halloween? No. No, no, no. Um, who is your favorite artist? Uh, Drew Struzan, J.C. Leyendecker, Alphonse Mucha, John Buscema. Hazel wants you to put googly eyes on the blow dryer. Oh. <laughs> Do you answer to art that is sent to you via DMs and comments? I try to, yeah. Um, you have to tag him in art so we can see it. Yeah, so long as I see it, I'll, I'll, I'll always respond, but I just have to see it. Natural or synthetic brush for watercolor? I just did a video on it, and I think I like the synthetics better. Scott did not dress up for Halloween. What is your favorite piece of art? Uh, that I made um, would be the Animal Crackers movie poster. Um, where is the community tab, they're asking? Um, on my, here, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so here's my channel. You just go over to community. See on the top, you got videos, shorts, live, playlist, community, store, channel, about. Community will show you stuff, stuff that I post. Mm -hmm. And then the store will show you how to get stickers, uh, channels. These are people who I follow. Okay. And then about will give you the links to all of our social, media. social medias. Okay, so now you know where the community tab is. That is where we will be posting the winners today. Um, Alvin says, what is a good tip for beginning drawers? Uh, just draw what you see. Don't try to draw out of your head. And draw everything? Every day. All right, let's try the uh, concentrated watercolors. Um. I don't understand this question, but I'll, I don't know. Um, I'm committed to developing my skills of art during the years, but this day I wasn't even close to my full potential. Do you think corporations will think my quality is paid off? If you're looking for somebody, are, are you trying, are you trying to get hired by a corporation? Right. Yeah. That's friendly charpentier. Give us a little more detail on that one. Like, are you looking to get hired? Are you, what are you looking to do with that? Um, Retro wants to know what our favorite holidays are. And no, Santa's not in the chat. Okay. Um, I honestly don't have one. I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday. But it's, it's over the years, it's sort of changed. I really, really love Thanksgiving. I like between Halloween and Christmas. It's like, just like the best time. I love that time. Um, how would you answer the question? How did you get famous and how can I be famous like you? Well, to become famous like me, you'd have, no, I'm not famous. You have to take out the trash. Yeah. You have to put your dishes in the sink. No, there's, there's, there's no, I mean, I've worked with famous people, you know, people like, Sylvester Stallone or John Krasinski and Emily Blunt or Danny DeVito, those people are famous. Like everybody knows who they are. You know, uh, I, I don't have a problem walking down the street. No one's only one person in my entire life has, has noticed me from the YouTube channel. Yeah, and, and so it, it's, it's, I don't know if, 
I don't know who would want to be famous. I don't know who would ever want to have everybody know who they are. I, I think that's a little scary. I mean, I, I'm not particularly fond of being, uh, having my face everywhere and being well known in any way. So it's not really something I could give you advice on how to do it because I've been trying to avoid it for most of my life. And here we are. Um, why did you start the channel? Um, I had a TikTok and uh, I'd been doing it for almost two years and it just wasn't really generating any income. And it was Dan Povenmire who actually suggested that I try YouTube. And so in February, I moved over to YouTube and um, it's I didn't expect it to grow like this. No, we didn't see this coming a mile away. And honestly, it's a little scary having like a million people yeah. know who you are. It's, it's kind of scary to be perfectly honest, you know? Um, okay, Ghost had a question that I missed and I wanted to ask this one. Um, do Windsor and Newton watercolors leave a slight dust on your artwork after they dry? My watercolors do that, and I'm wondering if it's a quality thing or just a general watercolor thing. I've never seen a dust of anything. No. Yeah. Um, Scott's favorite watercolor brand is Windsor and Newton. There is an entire video of Death Strike on where Scott finds his photo reference, but Google is your best friend. Have you ever found your introversion challenging to your art? Oh, 100%. Um, there are people who have such wonderful careers because they're extroverts and they can sell their stuff. Absolutely. Blow dryer. Yeah. I mean, if you can be a good salesman, salesperson, it is absolutely uh, gonna benefit your your art will benefit from it. Okay, so, um, which cold pressed paper do you prefer? Ooh, I love that blue. Yeah, um, I like uh, the arches. If I'm just gonna do something like this, if it's a sketchbook, it's to be creative. Um, okay, for. For all of you that are that are asking, and there's been a few of you. So the people whose names are in blue with the little wrench, those are our mods. They help us with the channel and they're answering your questions because they're our friends. And so when they answer for us, it's because they know us. So um, they're not just answering to answer. They're answering because they really do know. And they help me answer more questions on the live because we just can't possibly get to all of you. There's 325 of you right now. And um, we had over 9,000 people in the live on Monday. So they're, they're doing their best to help me make sure all of your questions get answered. Um, okay. Um, can you draw manga? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not out of my head, but I can copy it. If I can see it, I can copy it. We've been asked this multiple times yeah. today. Uh, Windsor and Newton. And the exact <laughs> colors that I use is, is in my art supply list. Mm -hmm. um, Ray says, hey, Scott and Donna, I'm late, but I'm here. First day of college was very fun, but also I'm exhausted. That that tracks. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to decompress with the stream. Also, I found a friend who's also LGBT, LGBTQ. Yay. That's Good wonderful. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you for going. And I'm so glad you met somebody. That's exciting. God, That's it was a, whole... a year ago that our boys went off to college. Yeah. Have you ever sold paintings on the street? No. We've done um, cons and we've done shows, um, but we've never just set up a table on the street. Um, what is the best GSM paper um, or a budget-friendly type of paper? 300 GSM. That's what that's what all good watercolor paper is. 
Tips for layering watercolors without lifting the lower color. I feel like it always causes muddy colors. Oh, uh, you got to dry it. That's why you see me pull out the blow dryer. Make sure that that first layer is dry. That's why he keeps yelling blow dryer. Scott, who inspired you the most? Uh, my mom. Do you know about Kim Jong Ji? Yes, yes. I have one of his books and sketches. So sad that he passed away. He was a genius. understand this question how do you square your watercolors without them leaking and messing everything um i don't know what that means yeah i don't know what they mean by square yeah. um felipe what do you mean by square scott uses watercolors that are in a tube and he just unscrews the cap and puts them into the palette um let's see is photorealism real art according to you Anything that you call art is real art. Not my favorite thing, but not the, my least favorite thing. Um, but no, of course it's art. If if someone is is creating something out of nothing and they call it art, then it's art. I think art is up to what people decide. You don't have to like it, but it's still art. I don't think I don't think there should be a, like a governing body telling people what is and isn't art. I think that's up to the artist. <clears throat> a kid reviewer says, I was scared to start my dream of making art, but you were the one who inspired me to chase my dreams. Thanks so much, Scott. You really are a legend. Oh, thank you. I look forward to seeing your art. Um, just go outside. Message me, and we can have that conversation about where we get our stickers made. Right now, our stickers are with CrowdMade. But it depends on if you want to make them for yourself and sell them, or do you want to have somebody do it for you and do all the fulfillment and everything else. Um, PH1 says, love his videos. First time watching a stream. Thank you. Um, cute dog, sweet sugar says, oh, wow, you did that fast. That makes me wonder what art medium do you think is the fastest when it comes to color? I think watercolor. I, I, I that's that's why I like it. I can do a. But do you think it's the medium that makes it faster? Yeah. Or do you think it's you because you just like to finish things quickly? Um, it, I can't do this with gouache that quick, and acrylics would be the same. Yeah, um, but but now, now, mind you, there are like oil painters who can do like a thirty-second or three-minute, you know, like masterpiece. So a lot of it does have to do with the artist, but I'm just saying as far as watercolors are fun, they're they're simple, they're easy to, to work with. But isn't there also, there has to be a level of comfort with your medium too. Yeah. yeah. Right? And you've been doing this for, what, 10 years? Just about, yeah. Yeah. Blow dryer. <laughs> I'm going to add one more medium. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add some watercolor pens. You are seriously like challenging the, you're like straight. Th well, I think this will go quicker. So I'm looking for speed. Okay. Um, do you do a rough draft of the colors or do you just pick them up as you go? Pick them up as I go. I mean, there, there's, there's a video or two where I, you know, do color comps and I'll talk about that. But honestly, I, um, I mean, as you guys see, I, I, I figure it out as I go along. You only do really color comps when you're working on commissions or like big pieces for yeah. commercial pieces. Okay. Um, Pradnia wants to know, is using watercolor on a black brush pen sketch better than using a black brush pen on top of watercolor? Both are fine. Both are completely fine. You, you know, that's just a preference. Uh, Imra says, I've been following your advice to copy or draw what you see, and it really does help. Thank you. Oh, fantastic. Um, <clears throat> um, how do you feel about people marketing off of you? Because I may or may not have seen someone market off of you in a local shop in Israel. Um, 
You mean like take some of my work or something like that? There's not really much I can do about it. I'm not going to go and hire, um, you know, like an, a lawyer or something like that. And and honestly, I am. I, I don't want to say you know it's a good thing. Like I'm flattered, but I mean, if anybody wants my art that much or thinks that my art is worth being stolen, I, I take it as a compliment. Again, I don't condone it, but better to look at the bright side, right? Um, we stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday um, at 9 a.m. Central Time. I hope that helps. <laughs> Your paper boy. I am. Guilty. Do you think arting is a word? Yeah, I think so. Have you tried drawing without a sketch? Uh, yes, uh, my friend Kim Diaz home uh, does ink drawings where he just spills ink and then finds something in there. And I love it. And I've done a couple uh, dual lives where we hang out and we do that. And it was really fun. It's just drawing without um, a sketch. I mean, he's absolutely amazing at it. And, and if you guys ever want to go to that uh, channel section of my site and you'll see I'm following him and absolutely please do follow him. Um, they want to know if you have ever painted galaxies. I did. I've done wormholes too because I used to do Star Trek covers and Deep Space Nine. What's your favorite thing about your Octavia character? Um, I think uh, the, my favorite thing is all the people who identify with her. Um, can we make good art with printer paper? Yeah, yeah, I used to. Uh, just, I would focus on paper and pencil. Is the Van Gogh dry color set good for beginners? I've never used it, sorry. Um, what has inspired you to do art? The world around me. Um, and other artists. We have a lot of people asking and, and i don't even know how this is relevant how much you spend on art supplies every year i, 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 don't I would say probably about 200 dollars a year keep in mind that scott's been drawing for a long time and because he buys the professional watercolors and professional supplies they don't they last a long time yeah so he doesn't replace i've had long. these pens for probably five to ten years and they'll probably last me 20 years because I don't, I only use them very, very limitedly. Now my zebra brush pens, I will go through one of those every three weeks probably. And, but they're $2 and 50 cents. So if I buy a hundred of those, gosh, I would never buy a hundred of those. If it's every three weeks, that's probably like say 20, 20 a year. Find it very hard to blend gouache. Can you give me some tips to blend gouache? Um, I would say uh, try doing like what I do with watercolors and drying it first. Try doing them as layers. <clears throat> okay, so um, what type of paintbrush should this person use? I just did a video on that. I would I recommend looking at that. I'm so glad we have an interactive art community like this on YouTube. Yeah, it's fun. Um, if you go to the art supply link, um, it lists all of Scott's art supplies in there. So he uses Windsor and Newton watercolors, um, but everything's listed there so you can see everything that he's using. Um, I just got here, and I don't know if you've already answered this, but do you think you will do October next year? I'd like to. I had fun. What are some ways that you overcome art block? I've got a video on that. Um, but essentially, I look at other people's art, and that inspires me. SLN says, I paint in gouache, and I seem to be faster in that than watercolor. That's great. I think it's, isn't it just a comfort level? Maybe some people are just more comfortable with a different medium. Yeah. Right? 
Yeah, like I said, there's there's oil painters who do these like quick figure studies so much quicker than I could, you know. Um, there is a whole video, a series of videos in the Art Hex playlist on faces and eyes and ears and a whole bunch of things. So check out the Art Hacks playlist. Um, Amy has it. Oh, I just lost it. What is the one art skill you wanted to improve? Amy asked that. Um, I'd love to be able to draw out of my head if I could do that. I'm always jealous of cartoonists and whatnot. They want to know where you got all your bracelets. Um, they are from different places that I have traveled to, which we haven't traveled to too many places. Oh. So, this is uh, from uh, Utah. This one is from uh, Wait, Venice. Down, 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 down. There you go. Utah, Venice. This one is from uh, Valencia, Spain. And this one is from uh, Kauai, the little shell. Why do you like the Winsor & Newton brand? Um, uh, it's just what I use and I like it. So it wasn't like I've tried every single other thing and then wound up, you know, falling in love with it. It's just what I happen to use. Oh, Nixie is here. Hope hey, you're Misty. Better. Um, Diane says, thank you. You inspired me to start watercolor greeting from Belgium. Oh, thank you. Friends. Happy November, Santa. Hi, Santa. How many days until Christmas? So excited. And Nixia says, hey, homies. <laughs> um, the last day for Octavia was Monday. That is correct. However, everybody asked if Scott could paint her today. So Because all of those I, leaves took up a lot of time to draw. And so there. I was going to paint her after the live was over, but you guys wanted me to save her. So I did. So that's why we're painting her today. What is your least favorite color to paint with? Um, I think maybe green. Which one is your favorite Octavia painting? Uh, I, I mean, I love the Lord of the Rings one, but the one I'm keeping, like I'm not selling, is the, uh, the first one. because so I think that was the original. Um, Athens says, hello, I got the Windsor and Newton Field Kit on your recommendation, and I absolutely love it. Thanks it, for the recommendation. Isn't it wonderful? And that's the same kit that I use, but I just have the professional uh, ones. And actually, I just put my own tube paints into that. But I love that kit. Um, okay. Is expensive better than cheap? Uh, when, it, uh, when it comes to paper, yes. But... Uh, for everything else, I don't think so. What do you use for sketching and the brand name? For sketching, uh, I use, like, if I'm just doodling for myself, I'll use a black cherry prism color pencil. But if I'm sketching to paint over it, I will use a Faber-Castle 4H pencil. Do you ever use games as inspiration for your paintings or drawings? Um, I mean, I've painted some gaming characters but honestly no i i've never gotten that as an influence how do you keep your paintbrushes straight he doesn't yeah he doesn't take care it's of them at all he's terrible yeah i really don't i clean them after you know like i just rinse them in some water and that's it i don't do any kind of conditioning or anything i don't want to they would like to know if you are going to do another series like this for Christmas or if you can do Octavia doing something for Christmas. I'd like to maybe do do something with Santa if he's up for it. Um, let's see. <clears throat> what is your favorite painting? Probably, well, um, it would be Spring by um, Sir Lawrence Alma to Demon. Thank you. How did you discover zebra pens? Oh, I tried every single pen. He's not kidding. He's tried every single brush. I'll spend a hundred dollars by every pen, try them out, and this one's too hard, this one's too soft. This one is waterproof, this one isn't, you know. Yeah. <laughs> They're asking, and Bethany replies, these lives are very, very unscripted. Yeah. Boy, she's not kidding. We are just um, flying by the seat of our pants, guys. That's what we do. 
What is the worst art block you ever got over? Um, I didn't paint for a decade. Yeah. I worked on in digital. I was doing animation, and I just didn't paint. Yeah. I didn't draw. I didn't do anything. Okay, so we've done red and we've done orange. <laughs> Let's do yellow. Um, okay, C Fox. Um, oh, good. Stefner put that in. Sakura Pigma brush pens are a dupe for the zebra brush pens if you can't get them in your country. Josh wanted to say your artwork and videos make me so inspired and I really wish to be like you when I grow older. Also a question, have you ever used pasta markers? Thank you. No, I have not, but I do have some uh, acrylic markers to try out and I'm going to do that. Um, how do you mix neon pink? Oof. I don't know. That's I don't a tough one. You get neon pink. I think you have to buy neon pink. Yeah. The the pink that I'm I'm using I I had to buy that because you it's really hard to create those colors. Yeah, especially neon colors. Um, commissions are not open on the website. They were available a while ago, but Scott is very busy right now, so commissions are not open presently. Um, do you have any favorite games? Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, and uh, currently I'm playing Overwatch Two. I love October. I used to paint and then I stopped and now I'm painting again. That's nameless, which is great. And this yeah. is a combination of everything. That is indeed correct. This painting is a mixed media amalgamation of a whole lot of things, let me tell you. Um, what's the rules of pop art? I think the rules of pop art is there is no rules. Yeah. Same thing with regular art. There is no rules. Um, I love October. I used to paint and I stopped and I'm painting again. Multiple people have said you inspired them to paint again. Oh, thank you. And we have had so many questions about what is the next thing we're going to do. So um, I next, don't know. The very, very next thing we're going to do is post in our community page today about who won the drawing. So that's next. Um, and then after that, we'll we'll come up with something next. Um, are you almost done? I am. So I, I think, what time is it? It is 10.23. Okay. So I think what's going to happen is I will have all of the colors laid in, and then we'll end the live. And then I will then go out, and I will do all of the outlining, and I'll, I'll tighten everything up. Because right now, yeah, right now there's just, I need to, I need to make, the, the outlines more bold and, and whatnot. So let's just get this green in here. What are good beginner markers? Oh God, that, that green set? is really dark. What's that set that you um, tried? Oh, um, markers. Art Beak. Art Beak had a set of 72 markers and they were $27.99 on Amazon. And you said those were good yeah. to start with. All right, so the the green watercolor marker was way too dark. So I've got to go with the lighter. Scott has not tried washi tape. Well, he did a video on tape, so he technically did try washi tape, but he doesn't use washi tape. Yeah. I use washi tape. Um, how do you blend watercolor? Uh, there's several ways of doing it. You can go wet on wet, you can go wet on dry. Um, and so I like to do wet on dry. I like to dry mine in between. It is 1024 AM central time in where we are. You say you didn't paint for a decade, but why? Like, were you too busy or was it motivation? Or it was, was it just, hobby work thing? it was motivation. Um, I was just into digital. I was making, um, I was doing animation. I was doing my comic book series, The Dreamland Chronicles. Um, and I just didn't like my art. I was, before that I was doing Prismacolor pencils. And I think I was just done with them. I just didn't like where I was going. I think I had mastered like, and I say this with all humility, but I mean, I was at the top of the game when it came to Prismacolors. Like there was like 
maybe a few other people who were as good at Prismacolor pencils as I was at the time. I got inducted into the New York Society Hall of Sight, New York oh, Illustrators Society. Yeah. New York Society. Yeah. And, and like I said, I mean, it, it was just when people wanted that look, they would call me or like one or two other people. I just didn't like it. And so I wanted to try something else. So I got into the digital stuff and um, it was different. It was a, a different way of making art. And then after a while I got tired of that and I wanted to get back into art, but I didn't want to go back to um, colored pencils again. So I decided to learn watercolors and that was in my forties. So I, my, my entire thirties, you know, was digital. Mm -hmm. um, Octavia is looking awesome. Thank you. Um, no, there is not only one winner. We have more than 30 pieces of art and art prints that we are giving away. So yes. there will be more than 30 winners. Um, have you ever drawn in a manga style? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had a little anime um, manga influence in my teens all right i think i got every single leaf i think i want to go back and make the reds a little better creating your own coloring book no but i do have my inked pages uh for free if anybody wants them i i set them up for you guys they're on both the store and the discord um no i do not paint i leave that to scott he is the painter of the Can you make a paperboy painting? Also, do you like Care Bears? Um, no and no. What if you drew what Santa is in different countries for Christmas? To my surprise, Santa can look very different for each country. Yeah. That's a good one. Do you keep the shade of watercolor that you created in a container or just let it dry on the palette? I don't create the colors. I do straight from the tube and I let them dry on the palette. So that's going to beg the next question, which is how do you blend them then? I don't. I, you know, I will layer them one on top of the other, dry and dry. But I don't, I don't particularly like to blend them. Now with gouache, sometimes I'll blend them. Um, Mike says, I really love the way you do watercolors, but full on prints are a bit expensive for me. Do you have any stickers or plan on it? Oh, uh, yes, we do have stickers. Uh, we have the stickers for the hair journal, which are here, mm -hmm. and they're in the store. And then also we do have smaller prints of the hair journals, mm -hmm. if that's something that you want. Yep. Check out the store. The hair journal prints are... And I'm going to make uh, the 30 Days of National Animals prints, and I'm making um, the Octavia prints, too. I thought Octavia was going to be stickers. Stickers, sorry. We're, we're working on those. Those will, should be up, you know, give us a bit. We'll let you know when those go live. Okay, so we got these. We've used almost all of the different materials. Okay, um, if you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, you will be notified of when we are going live. Yeah, YouTube's pretty good about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really are. Um, is tracing a picture outline a good thing or a bad thing? Tell me, Scott, should I keep tracing a secret? It is. No, no, no. It's not a, you don't need to keep it a secret. Um, look, if, if you're doing it because you it makes you happy, then do it. I do it uh, when I have to make something look exactly like the photo. Like, hey, I'm, 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 I got to get this likeness just right because, you know, a client is asking me, either paying me to paint this character for a TV show or whatever it might be. So they don't care if you trace it or not. They just want it to look like that person. Um, if your entire art style is tracing photographs, then you're Andy Warhol, you know, which is what he would do. He would just take, he would photocopy stuff, you know, um, and he's considered an artist. So again, you don't need to be embarrassed about it or anything. People will always try to make you feel bad for whatever reason. Just don't listen to them. Um, we have not tried the Brewstro products yet. That is on the list of products to try. I have a list for you guys of products to try. 
but we still have products here that are sitting on the floor behind Scott that he has to try. So we're going to try to get through those by the end of the year and hopefully have some newer products to try in the new year. Um, here's an interesting question. Liza says, Mr. Scott, is it possible to blend colored pencils with pastels? It, it, it is possible. They just don't look that good together because pastels are chalky and colored pencils are waxy. Um, Merry Christmas. It's better to be early than late. So yeah. Um, I love your art. I'm so thankful that you do this because it inspires so many people. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, how long have you been drawing? Um, 35 years, maybe? No, 30, four, yeah, sorry, 45 years. Have you started Christmas music? Santa would like to know. <laughs> Not me personally, Santa, but Donna has. When I'm in the car by myself. Blow dryer. So I'm going to call this done for today. Uh, I will be going and re-outlining a lot of this stuff to make sure that it pops, maybe add a little white border here and uh, just cleaning everything up, adding some white highlights. Uh, so that way everything has a little bit of light and shadow. I'm going to blow through some more questions before we're finished. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Rex. Scott has a video on everything in his to-go bag for art supplies. You can check that out. Isn't that pinned to the top, the bag? It's pinned to the top on TikTok. I know that. On TikTok, but yeah, no. Okay. Um, Just look up the, with the Swiss the wind, bag one. Is the wind annoying while you're outside painting? Um, if it's a windy day, yeah, I'm sure it would be. I, I it, Again, if, if the conditions aren't absolutely perfect, I'll just leave. He'll take a picture and do it. Later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. We do sell prints on the website. If you go uh, to the website, we sell original art and we have some prints of stuff that Scott has made. There's also a link there to Crowdmade for the stickers and for some other merch. Scott's number one brand of colored pencils are, oh my God. God. Prismacolor. Thank you. Um, there are, I do not know how many are original art uh, that we're giving away, but we have prints and original art in the drawing. Um, but I don't know how many of each. They want a polar bear for winter. Um, Octavia is a giant Pacific octopus. I just pulled that out of a hat. Okay. Does it matter how you hold the pencil to draw well? No, there's a video on that too. There's no right way to make art. And... <laughs> There's a lot of people who hold their pencils really weird and they make amazing art. So it really doesn't matter. The drawings are closed for the art giveaway. It's been up for two weeks and the drawings are closed. Um, does your paper get damaged if you add lots of watercolor in layers? No. No, the good paper will not get damaged. Um, they want to know how you compose a piece. The composition of it? Mm -hmm. That's actually a great question that we've never had before. Yeah. Um, a lot of that has to do with a lot of the little things we talked about. Um, I talked about negative space, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, breaking borders. But yeah, I mean, every, every artist composes their stuff differently. Some are very cinematic. They'll work on threes, you know, the, the rule of threes. Me, I just kind of eyeball it. Does the weather ever influence your art? No, you know, rainy days and Mondays always get me down kind of thing, but no. Um, have you ever done a Tim Burton drawing? Uh, I have drawn. You did Edward Scissorhands. 
Edward Scissorhands and some of the characters, yeah. We haven't tried Posca markers yet, so Scott um, doesn't have an opinion on those yet. Um, we are in the central time zone. Scott's favorite color is Payne's gray. And let me do, there was one more that I wanted to make sure that we answered. How did you get, so, practice, practice, practice is how he's gotten so good at art. And the winners are going to be um, posted on Scott's community page on YouTube this afternoon. And I think we should close it from there. Have All right, day. everybody have Bye. a wonderful Wednesday and we will see you on Thursday or Friday. Bye. And I don't know what I'll be painting. Yeah, we have no clue. But thanks for being here guys and look for this afternoon for the winners to be in our community section, in our community section of YouTube later today. Okay. All Thanks right. So much. Bye. Bye everybody.